We bought those weird products on Instagram so you don't have to. We spent way too much goddamn Ooh. money on this episode. I went through my How Instagram it, feed, which is almost exclusively In ads because I don't really use Instagram In that, that much. How much did you spend? We spent close to $1,500 <laughs> on this episode. Because here's the thing, products on Instagram are stupidly marked up. $1,500? So while Austin gets his inferior Coke coffee and I have a sip of my inferior Red Bull. Ah, uh, the mocha flavor of Coke coffee. Does that make you hungry to have that? It makes me hungry to have some Cheetos Crunchy. Okay, I mean, this looks like a normal thing of Cheetos. What can we all agree is the worst part about Cheetos? The dust. Well, I got the product for you. The Snacktiv Dark Mode <laughs> Chopsticks for your fingers. So what these do, is they sit on your fingers. You can be sitting there gaming like the elite gamer you are. Then you reach over. Yo, actually, wait, is this a good product, Matt? I want to make a disclaimer. These are all very real products that I got recommended to my Instagram. How much was the snack to? $35. This should be $5, no more. It's I a literally a piece of rubber. We've held hands a lot on this is. This is the this is the weirdest way. Don't put something on my Wikipedia. <laughs> Speaking of Wikipedia and things that shouldn't be on the internet, I know you're a fan of sensible footwear. I am. Why is it so big? <laughs> it's a little shark. This is bigger than a real shark. I knew there's a reason we got the prop foot. These are like Crocs. The same type of materials Crocs. You just For slide context, those. <laughs> it's bigger than my head. <laughs> All right, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. The whole reason we do any of these episodes is just to get Austin on celebritytfeetpics.com. <laughs> this is about 17 times larger than my foot. How do they feel? Like Crocs that are two times bigger than they should be. Do you feel like a shark is eating your feet? Just nom, 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 nom. No. They're super low quality is the thing that I don't like. Like, they feel like this is something you'd find for like five bucks. $27. This is one of those items that looks cool on Instagram and is really trash when you actually yeah. get it. Matt, you should wear them though, because I don't want to be the only one who's pulling my feet out for a video. <laughs> Matt, what's a problem in your life? My dirty apartment because my dog sheds all over the place. You know what I can get you? What can you get me? Unlimited time because you don't have to do any of that work ever again. Thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Narwhal and their T10 2-in-1 robot robotic mop and vacuum. The T10 uses LiDAR navigation and laser mapping to not only quickly and accurately map out your room, but also avoid obstacles or falling off of edges such as steps. In addition to vacuuming, you can also easily switch out the bristle heads for the snap-on mop attachment. The 5 liter tank in the base station has enough clean water to cover up to 3,000 square feet. Whoa! That's like 10 of your apartments. That's way more than 10 of my apartments. When the robot detects that its mops are dirty, it automatically returns to the base station to self-clean and then seamlessly picks up right where it left off. The base station is simple to use allowing you to map, clean, or return home with just one click. Or you can use the app to remotely control it and set up things like virtual no-go zones. To learn more about the Narwhal T10, check out our link in the description. And a huge shout out to Narwhal for sponsoring this portion of the video. And importantly, keeping Matt's apartment nice and clean, giving you more time to talk about cloud gaming or something. Moving on to the next item. Wait, I gotta put my shoes back on. Did walking around in all those shark shoes make you super thirsty? What we have here... Oh, no. <laughs> Boa Endor Berry Fusion Blast Oral Flavor. Oral Blast! Oral Blast, Matthew! 25 Oral Blasts <laughs> of... This is supposedly... A zero sugar, zero calorie, zero carb. Matt, can I please read you the directions for use? Yeah. Fully coat the inside of your mouth with a serving, approximately two second blast as needed, then swallow. Boy, oh boy, I don't like any part of this whatsoever. <laughs> Are you spraying? Oh! <laughs> All right, ready? I'm gonna fully coat. <coughs> oh! All right, I gotta oh! <laughs> it's like chalky! <laughs> It's like medicine. It's, <laughs> this is actually horrible. It's oh like my someone God. rubbed a rock in my mouth. Yeah. I would rather be like sucking on like a pocket full of pennies than, <laughs> yeah. than that, this. Apparently a two second blast is 7% of your daily sodium. That's why it's so salty. Salt, oh my God. Yeah. So we just sprayed our mouths with salt, pure salt. Blah. All of you absolute gremlins talked about how Suck much you a like the idea of at all from our other video. So it's $30 for two cans. It's like a dollar per oral bliss, or oral blast. That makes sense. Look, I feel thirstier than I did before. Luckily, we have the uh, the the solution for that. 
We have Water Drop Flare and Water Drop Youth. It's a sugar cube. Yeah, did you drop into the water? Yeah, I got youth because y'all keep telling me I'm old as fuck. <gasps> All the flavors are something like Flare, Youth. <sighs> All right, let's, let's do this. I'm gonna crack open some youth. I'm gonna go. Wow, that's gross. All right, we're gonna do two. Cause I have I'll a feeling this is gonna taste like nothing. Oh. Oh. Okay, so mine has peach, ginger, ginseng, and aloe vera. Mine is uh, elderflower, lime blossom, and raspberry. I'm gonna try mine. You wanna try it? Cheers. Bonk. That tastes like nothing. Yeah. That, what? That's it? I as, barely got any flavor out of that. As someone who drinks a lot of sparkling water, I'm used to the idea of the word flavor being shouted into an empty can and then you drink it. But this smells so much more than it. I mean, it smells good. Don't get me wrong. But it, like, it really smells. Then you go to taste it and it's literally nothing. How much was it for 12 of these cubes? $24 plus $9 in shipping. So a total of 33. I could get a whole pallet of LaCroix and it would taste better and be less work. Austin, I was going to ask you if you remember school, but you didn't go to school. So if you all remember Lisa Frank, the bright colors that look like a rainbow vomited on a unicorn or a tiger. Have I got the product for you? A blend jet Lisa Frank branded personal blender. USB powered, battery powered, rechargeable. This is gonna suck. Single serve blender. How often do you need to blend things on the go? Uh, reg often. Really, what do you blend on the go? Everything. Okay. Smoothies. Oh my God, it's more beautiful than I ever could have imagined. Look at that. It's got a lanyard. Oh. I, I, do not, I, I don't approve of any of this. Do not let children use blend jet unattended. Yeah. Do not put your hand inside the blend jet. Yep. Do not run your blend jet while empty. Do not. Sorry, what? <laughs> so the beautiful thing about this is, yeah, maybe it's not enough for, um, you know, like a kumquat or uh, <laughs> wait, wait, a wait, wait. mango. But a when kumquat? we bought our Lisa Frank personal blender, we were given a variety pack, oh. chai latte. What? Cinnamon dolce. So wait, so this is more so for drinks than anything else. Cause on the box, they say you can do smoothies, protein shakes, mixed drinks. But again, who needs to do this portably? When are we gonna take your whole kitchen with you except your blender? I don't, this does not make any sense to me. Camping. Okay. Tailgating. You Everybody gotta is... watch your kids be <laughs> soccer games. So you gotta make margaritas. <laughs> So we just made Kinsey run to the store because we didn't feel like doing it and I forgot to look at the instructions. <laughs> I hope you can see that he got milk all over his hand, shirt, and the, da the table. So we've got ourselves some milk. We've got ourselves the ready to blend I latte. Didn't, I didn't put the ice in yet. No, stop that! Gentle, Matthew, gentle. That's not, oh, it's, oh. Okay. That, yeah, see? So we basically need to add the entire contents of the jetpack. Apparently this is a jet. <sighs> Activate jetpack. Okay. Oh, it smells delightful. So we're supposed to do this for two full cycles. So I'm just gonna press the button and see what happens, right? Ready and. It's quite aggressive. It's quiet. Like it's well, a lot quiet. Well, it's not quiet, but it's quieter than I would have expected. Lisa, what are you doing to me? All right, would you like to do the honors? Oh. Oh, what's... Oh. That is... That's not good. No. No, that's bad. What? That's ice and cinnamon and milk. <laughs> that was so Can disappointing. It smells so much better than it actually is. If you're going to be tailgating, you want to be on brand. You don't want to be showing up with some non-Lisa Frank accessories. So... What we were able to get, the telescoping portable mobile stool. This was probably the thing that was recommended to me the most. A stool? And wait, this wait. is this is oh. also something I'm pretty sure oh. is seen on TV. All right, all right, all right. So this is suitable for climbing, camping, barbecue, fishing, football game, concert, line, touring, parks, gardens. So the idea here is that this collapses down to be almost nothing, and then you just kind of collapse it down. There's no way I was gonna try this for the record. So you, oh, here's the best part of it. It matches the Lisa Frank. This is, I think, a, like a decent little product. 
that like again you bring over to your kid's soccer game you say a lot of going to your kid's soccer game but you would have to still be in contact with your children first look when you're dating in your mid-30s there's a lot of, a lot of kids soccer games okay like just for the record i this is how much was this the blender was 80 dollars. Ah, that's not bad that's, not, that's bad. not bad you're paying for that premium lisa frank branding you could strap this to a bag you can yep. put it easily fits in your backpack, whatever. Yep. I think this is not bad. This is, I think, a, like a decent little product that, like, again, you bring over to your kid's soccer game. I'm going to sit here for the rest of the video. What about the stool? $55. $55? Matt, I'll bequeath this upon you. So we're at our kid's soccer games, and we got <laughs> our stool. We got our Lisa Frank uh, blender so we can get our drinks going. Now, we want to get some tunes going. We all know that Lisa Frank is absolutely glorious. It's not a cassette player doesn't count. Well, good news. I'm I'm aware that you are a fan of <laughs> Notorious. No, 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 no. Yeah. Is this the way they do it? The N O T O R I S B I G. So this is a retro inspired pager based Bluetooth speaker. I do like oh. the size of it. Whoa! Smell that, Matt. What? It's like fruity. Ooh. I thought you were peeling plastic. That sounds awful. I think it may have been uh, dead. Is it dead on arrival? Uh, like the man himself, no longer with us. <laughs> Oof. Wait, is this really dead on arrival? What is with products that we keep getting in that have been dead on arrival? <laughs> the problem with a lot of Instagram products is that they might look cool, but looking cool in a photo on Instagram and actually being cool, as I'm sure you all know, are two very different things. Oh, yeah, I forgot that it has a flashlight. Yeah, f f f there's a flashlight. I mean... <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that we got scammed by Instagram? Matt, are you trying to tell me that the this advertising feels, and the truth were not the same? This just feels so cheap. It feels like a $3 thing you get on Wish. Yeah, like I felt like I got this as a dollar store. How much was this, Matt? If it's more than $11, I'm going to be... It's way more than $11. Oh, you're not ready for this. It's $90. <laughs> Ninety dollars? I swear, if this was for two dollars on Wish, I think I I guess. <laughs> <coughs> oh, suddenly the build construction is super solid. We've been scammed a lot over the years. This is top three biggest scams. I'm more mad about this than when I bought a <laughs> PS5 that didn't show up. Wait, wait, wait. Will it blend? <laughs> so. Go ahead. We've been at our kids' soccer game. Yep. We had our drinks and mm -hmm. we had, you know, had we were trying to listen to some tunes. But we're out, we're out in the the beating hot sun. That's where the next product comes in. The chill anytime. Insta, Insta chill. chill. Oh good lord. That looks this, highly suspicious. That, that looks so Look at that smut. We gotta we gotta blur that. I think you just literally dropped this in your drink. Dude, you cannot just tell me this is it. There's no instructions or nothing. <laughs> Wow. There's a QR okay. code on the inside of the box. Matt, scan us up here. Part. <laughs> what? Hey, thanks for scanning. Notice, the QR code campaign has been disabled for some reason. We're missing a key component that they did not sell me. A CO2 con container. You open this up. You stick the CO2 container there. Uh-huh. And it goes, Pia! How much was the Insta Chill? So much money. Without the CO2 to actually make it functional. Yes. Without the CO2, it's $50. This is a scam. It definitely Tate makes the thing taste even worse. For the <laughs> Look, I know what you're all here Please for. give me something good. Please give me something good. After having that tainted drink, okay. we have this to cleanse our palate. The Lark water self-cleaning water bottle oh i've actually seen these before so such it's got like a little like uv light or something on the inside to clean double isolated and it is usb rechargeable so basically all of the actual smart tech which really is just a light a charger a battery and a little led are in the cap so you could take this off and i assume wash that like normal because even though it's self-cleaning it's only self-cleaning against like germs and bacteria not against like whatever it is that you drink in the morning okay yeah. it's cleaning now so um, if you can see it is now UV sanitizing with ultraviolet light, our Monaco Blue Lark. I will say I like the design of this. I like the two-tone and that Monaco Blue does speak to me. How much is it? And I think it's- 100. 100 bucks, man. Look here, my little gemstones. Stop doing I that. I know that you wanted some real tech and I did find something for you. Did you though? 
at our children's soccer games, occasionally, for the most part, they're just they're just turds out there. They're really bad. They're running in the wrong direction. Your kid goes on a breakaway and scores a goal, and you want to capture that moment. But you don't want to carry around your big, bulky camera. So what do you do? You reach for the shift cam. You can tell it's expensive because there's like 11 layers to the packaging. Okay, so they also have a series of lenses available all the way up to anamorphic lenses for your phone because little Timmy needs to have his soccer game while he's picking his nose done. You know that some asshole parents in there, well, I only shoot my kid in anamorphic 4K 120. So basically what this is, is it's a grip for your phone and you have some extra controls on it, like being able to use the shutter and whatnot and you have tripod mounts. This has got to be like, what, 200 bucks? 150. There's a market for this. This is not going to help you really take better photos. Like having a shutter button, like, yeah, these are nice things to have, but also you got to carry this whole thing around. Like if I'm going to carry this whole thing around, I'd rather actually carry like a real like camera or something. I'm shooting video, right? I mean, this doesn't look that different. Wait, wait. There is one more product. The O-Snap Pop Socket. It's not Pop Socket, by the way. It's O-Snap. Right. So an off-brand Pop Socket-like thing. I bought this specifically because they're like, oh, it's MagSafe compatible. So I thought this would just stick on. Nope. So it does It does stick on because it's okay. magnetic. But they want you to stick this on your phone. Yeah. How much is this? $30 for that. 30 bucks. No, no, this is absolute trash. Yeah. This this little rubber bit that actually holds it back. It's like a rubber band. I feel like this, you use this for a couple weeks and that rubber is going to snap or fray. I mean, it feel, I mean you feel that. Yeah, it's it's not good. It's like... <sighs> That's it, friends. We've been scanned by Instagram just like we've been scanned by many other retailers in our eternal quest for some fresh, hot clickbait action. Do you actually ever find anything interesting on Instagram. I am not impressed by literally any of it. Some of it's vaguely okay, and that's the absolute best thing I can say. Make sure to subscribe and ring a ling the ding a ling bell. Otherwise, I'm gonna nibble your toes. No one should be nibbling toes. That's my job, I'm Mr. Sharky. Thank you for watching subscribe. this episode of This Is. Like, subscribe, follow us for the next one. See where we get scammed next. And be sure to check out Austin's celebritypics.com profile.